Hey everyone and welcome to my advanced custom fields tutorial for WordPress. If you're not familiar with what advanced custom fields or ACF is, then you've been missing out. WordPress, as great and popular as it is as a content management system, has never focused on building a simple system for custom fields. And that's where ACF has filled in the gap. ACF is, in my opinion, one of the most important plugins you can use as a developer in WordPress. It removes the complexity of adding custom field functionality into your WordPress theme. So if you've ever tried creating the functionality of custom fields directly into a plugin or theme, you would know that it is very time consuming. ACF provides you with all of the functionality required for custom fields to display on the admin panel and a simple API to display it on the front end of your website using PHP. So what are custom fields? Well, put simply, they allow you to add custom data into your WordPress website. That data is then stored in the database so you can display it anywhere you want. You can truly build some very customized websites very easily with ACF. If you're a web developer and you want to provide simple fields for your clients to update their website, then ACF is perfect for you. There are two versions of ACF. There's a free version and a premium version. And in this series, I will be using the premium pro version. However, you can follow along with the free version. And if the software helps you, I would definitely recommend purchasing it. Each video in the series will cover a different field type in ACF and will show you how to implement it as well as different ways it can be used. So with that being said, let's get started. As you can see, I have a very basic WordPress theme installed to ensure that this tutorial is simple for you to understand. And if you'd like to use this theme, you can just download it in the description below this video. I created it just for this purpose. Now, if we go into the WordPress installation, you'll notice I've just created some basic pages. They're all blank. And obviously I have Advanced Custom Fields Pro installed. Another plugin that I would recommend downloading would be uh, the Classic Editor. And this just takes away Gutenberg, the new editor in WordPress, to simplify the, uh, the pages so that you're not using that new interface. You can use the new interface if you want, but I'm just more comfortable with the Classic Editor. So just install that. And once it's installed, activate it. So we'll just activate the Classic Editor. And as you can see, because we have Advanced Custom Fields Pro already installed, Custom Fields is down here. You don't need the Pro one. You can always go to Plugins, Add New, and look for Advanced Custom Fields. And you can use the free version. There are some differences between the free and the Pro, but if there is a thing that I'm showing you that requires a Pro version, I will let you know. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if we look at the pages on our website, we have home, about us, contact us, gallery and services. We're gonna start off with the home page. And we wanna use custom fields to put some information on our home page. We wanna basically put some extra fields here at the bottom here that can be filled out and then displayed on the front page. All right, so how would we do that? Well, if we go into custom fields, you'll first see that there's a fields group, field groups page, and that basically allows you just to group your fields depending on where they're gonna be showing up. In this case, I'm just going to create one called home page settings, and I'll just click on publish. We'll then click on add a field, and the first field I want to show you is the basic text field. And um, in this case, we're just gonna, we'll call the label of this field. So this is, the label is what you'll see above the field as maybe as a description. I'll just call it page title. And as you can see, when you click away from this box, it's actually going to automatically create a slug for you. And this is basically a, uh, an ID, which we use to then display it on the front end. And field type is already text because that is the, the default. It's a basic, basic uh, field in ACF. And what that basically does is it stores a string. So a string is just basically a sentence or a word. Um, now you have options here like instructions. So you could say, please type the page title. You can make it required. And uh, all this other stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You could set a default value in there if you wanted to. But that's pretty much it for setting up a basic text field. So what we'll do is we'll just click on update 
And then last thing we need to do, because if we go into pages and then go into home, you'll notice it still does not come up here. We need to make sure that we go back to our field group and we assign it to the home page. So you could do uh, show this field group if, and then go down and look for post, uh, what is it? Post template? No, page template. No, it isn't. It's a page type front page. As you can see, there's so many different options here that we can choose from. So we want this field to come up in the admin interface if the page type equals the front page. We'll click on update and we'll go to pages. And if you go home, you'll see that now we have this new field called page title. So what I'm going to do is just type in something, the ACF tutorial, and I'll click on update. So what that does is it saves the, the string into the database related to this specific page. And then we can actually display it on the front end. So if we go to the front page of the website now, oops, if we click, go to the front page, the, the actual custom field does not come up. We need to go into our template to display it. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. So this is the uh, basic theme and I'm using Visual Studio Code if you'd like to download that and install it. There is a front-page.php template which works with the front page of the WordPress template. And if we go under the title, you'll see this is just the standard have posts loop to display any content that is in uh, inside here. Underneath there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do another PHP tag. We'll just do PHP, the field, and then inside here, we want to put the ID of the field. So let's go back to our custom fields page, go into our home page settings group, and you'll see that this is the ID. So it's called page underscore title. And we'll just paste that in there and save it. Now the field is a function with advanced custom fields and that basically echoes out the data straight away. And then there is another option which I'll show you how to do shortly. So if we go back to the home page and refresh, you should see that now that title comes up. So it's basically echoed out the data from the database. There is another way you could go about it. So you could do something like this, PHP and then maybe create a variable. So we'll call it title equals get field page title. And that basically will get the data and store it in this variable. And then you can echo title. Same thing. You also might want to do an if statement just in case the actual text is blank. So if someone goes in here and it's not set to required and they can just make it blank, you might not want anything, you might want it not to show it. So for example, if you had say an H1 tag around it and you went into the home page now and you refreshed it, there's nothing there. But if you actually go into the source of the page, you'll notice that there is an H1 tag there with nothing inside of it. And that's because it's still displaying those tags even though it, the text doesn't exist. So what you could do is you could wrap an if statement around it and basically, wait, we'll clean this up a bit. What we'll do is we'll actually go to the top of the page and where the start of, uh, sorry, after get header, you can actually add in all your variables at the top there. So we'll add it there and then that's nice and cleaner. But around the h1 tag, we can do PHP if title PHP and if. We'll go and refresh the page. It's still blank, but if now we refresh the source, you'll notice the H1 does not come up. And then if you typed in the title again and click on update, it's obviously going to come up as an H1 tag. And if you refresh, it's going to come up as well. So that is the basic text field in advanced custom fields.